Hey, what's going on, guys? I was reading Matthew 1 through 3 today, and uh, a couple things stood out to me. Um, I really thought I was going to be able to read through it, but the Lord put a lot into my heart, and uh, He stopped me at the first, pretty much the first sentence, and uh, one word that stood out, joy. Um, he had me define it and figure out what it means to me and where His place was with joy. And so that, He put this on my heart to write. So the original meaning of joy is source of pleasure or happiness. And source of pleasure is very important. That source of pleasure. Break that down and think about that. And I'll pretty much turn your world around. So to truly see, separate the wheat from the chaff. Matthew 3.12 Take and separate the source from the pleasure. And in so, take them and separate them one in each hand. And now, be still. In silence, God waits and can only command silence for His example is through His Son. In Mark 4, 39 through 41. So silence it must be. If your pleasure brings joy to the source, then surely the source shall bring joy to your pleasure. In the search of joy without pleasure, you shall find the source. See how you're separating it? It's all about separation. You think you have something in your hands, keep separating it. Keep putting God in the middle of it. And you really find out what you really have. So let's keep going on. You are trying to create joy by, by putting yourself inside joy. Now, separate yourself or E in from joy or if you can see it, it's what I'm trying to say is the word enjoy. Take off E in and separate it from in and then joy. So, do you find a desire for pleasure or joy? So you're standing there and you're trying to figure it out. What am, what am I getting out of this? My definition of enjoy is to separate your desire and put Jesus, the E in, and then add the joy, which is the source, to work together. So now you have E-N and joy. And what is that? Jesus and God working together in joy. And now this is very important with that word in joy and God the Father and His Son. This is very important. Your important note is in and joy can never be separated for the Father will never be separated from the Son. This is proven. In Jesus' resurrection and His love and His outstanding love for us and seeing our sins and wanting to wash them away and seeing this world that God created that wasn't the way it should be. So that tells you that the Father resurrecting the Son after three days because He was the Son of Man for our sins is true love. And true love is the love for us that the Son died for us and His blood was shed for us and all of our sins. So, now the Son of Man lives in you. You shall be enjoyed by God Almighty the Father. In this may you be a source to bring joy. See, you find joy in things, but you don't really recognize that things can be joyful, but things from the Lord can outsource what you think. So your joy can bring other people's joy. Or if you can bring somebody joy that their the heart is filled with bitterness or concern or just worldly things that are not there, teach them how to put that in in joy. Teach them about Jesus and His example through the Bible. And let them listen to the words spoken through the Bible, through God's breath. 
So put in, enjoy together, and guess what? You're not going to go wrong. You're going to enjoy things with the true sense of this world and the, the true sense of love that you see through the Father. So enjoy life. Be happy. Smile. But enjoy yourself. <laughs>